Before Killian Murphy became a sought-after person in the world of cinema and art, he had to leave his own rock band due to the ban of his parents. Before his look became a symbol of mystery and brutality, he was an ordinary poor guy with low self-esteem. Before Killian Murphy became famous, he failed the casting for the famous DC Comics character Batman. He is currently the new James Bond, the face of global brands, a violent criminal from the film Peaky Blinders, one of the greatest Irish actors according to the Irish Times. Let's go back in time, where the history of Killian Murphy began, and find out who he was before he became famous. Friends, before we start, subscribe to the channel and like this video. Killian Murphy was born on May 25, 1976 in Douglas, a city on the Isle of Man. His mother was engaged in teaching French, and his father worked in the field of education as a school inspector. Education became a kind of tradition in the family, where grandfather, aunts and uncles were also teachers. In his biography, the actor shares few details about his two younger sisters, brother, father and mother preferring to keep his personal life in the shadows from the public. Since childhood, Killian, along with his younger brother and two sisters, grew up in the village of Ballon Temple in Ireland. Brought up in the Catholic tradition, he attended Presentation Brothers College Secondary School in Cork. Academic achievements of the boy were high, but sometimes he still got in trouble, as a result of which he was even temporarily excluded from classes. Despite the requirements of the school program, the guy was not fond of sports. He was more attracted to creativity and art. At the age of 10, inspired by the Beatles, the boy began to write his own songs, and even dreamed of becoming a star of the rock scene together with his brother Patty, creating a musical group, The Sons of Mr. Green Jeans. By the way, the rock band got its name from a song by American composer Frank Zappa. The passion for music led to the interest of the record label Acid Jazz Records. The guys were offered a contract, which they refused. The reasons are several. Firstly, the parents didn't approve the proposal, because the brothers were still in school. In the second place, Killian was offered almost priceless for the sale of copyrights to the songs. As later admitted the blue-eyed Irishman himself, at that moment, I feel a sudden epiphany and do not regret the decision. Currently, Murphy still picks up a guitar and continues to write songs. At the age of 16, the young man found himself in a workshop dedicated to the dramatic arts. Killian's first step on stage was high school, and participation in a theatre project organized by the director of Cork Dorka Theatre Companion, Pat Kiernan. After watching the play A Clockwork Orange, the boy's interest in acting was ignited even more. After graduating from school, the guy, under pressure from his parents, entered not the theatre, but the legal field. Nevertheless, he never received a higher education. In his soul, there was no aspiration for a career as a lawyer. A learning seemed to him boring and uninteresting. Instead, Murphy with full delight entered into the activity of the theatre studio, which was attached to his university, participating in various productions. At some point, the producers of the play Disco Pigs drew attention to young actor of average hate, but with an expressive appearance, inviting him to play a major role. This event and became the starting point for the creative biography of Killian. After a brilliant debut, the production was presented at the Dublin Festival, where the 20-year-old Murphy finally decided to focus on his acting career. Over time, cinema began to gradually occupy the main place in his career, pushing the theatre to the second plan. The Irishman first appeared on the big screen in 1999, in the film Sunburn. He played the role of a hero who runs away from his pregnant girlfriend to America. From that moment on, the actor began to participate in filming more and more often. In 2001, Killian tried his hand as a screenwriter for the first time, writing the script for the comedy The Watcher, where he also played the main role. The film was presented at the Edinburgh Festival and received a lot of positive feedback. In the same year, director Kristen Sheridan invited Murphy to star in the film adaptation of the already familiar play Disco Pigs. Killian not only agreed, but also wrote his own soundtrack for the picture. In 2003, the Irishman again returned to the stage, which before for him was more of a hobby than a profession. This time the actor embodied the image of Constantine from Anton Paolo Chekhov's play The Seagull. The play was a huge success, 
and in the same year it was shown at the prestigious festival in Edinburgh. Fate brought Killian together with his future wife, Yvonne McGuinness, back in the distant 1996, when he was actively involved in a rock band. Over time, their relationship continued to develop for 10 years, until it reached its climax, the wedding in 2004. A year later, the family welcomed their firstborn son, Malachi, and a second son, Carrick, in 2007. Yvonne shares values with Killian and carefully keeps family life private. McGuinness dabbles in digital art, print making, and video installations with published works in the public domain on her own website. Killian auditioned for a superhero role in Batman Begins, unfortunately or fortunately, unsuccessfully. In the end, in the role of Batman was chosen Christian Bale, but the impression that left Murphy during the auditions was so strong that the director offered him to play Batman's nemesis, Scarecrow. In 2013, director Stephen Knight presented to the public the TV series Peaky Blinders, which became a real sensation. The basis of the project was based on real events related to the criminal activities of the Shelby family in Birmingham at the intersection of the 19th and 20th century. The character of the protagonist was far from the personality of the actor. Cruelty is absolutely not his trait. The first season of the crime series brought Killian Murphy worldwide popularity and recognition. The British show about gangsters of the 1920s immediately became a cult phenomenon, and the images of the main characters became a role model around the world. After six seasons, the series continues to influence men's fashion and the Thomas Shelby hairstyle is still in demand in barber shops. By the way, it is worth noting and interesting fact that for most of his life Murphy was a vegetarian, but not for moral reasons, but for fear of mad cow disease. He first started eating meat during the filming of Peaky Blinders to gain weight. Throughout the history of participation in the film industry, the Blue-Eyed Irishman participated in 19 nominations and received 7 awards. And this is not the end. At the moment, the artist continues to be active in cinematography. Not so long ago, he starred in a new project called Oppenheimer, which tells about the life of Julius Robert Oppenheimer, the father of the atomic bomb. In his free time, Killian's Murphy's hobbies include running with his furry friends, melodic chords of Hawaiian guitar, and singing. The actor tries to remain invisible to the eyes of the curious and critical discussions of the public to avoid similarities with Brad Pitt, whose every movie is regularly caught in the eyes of journalists. On forums dedicated to Killian's work, fans debunk his appearance, noticing changes in photos. The nose has become more graceful and lips plump. So that's that kind of story. Share your thoughts in the comments. What do you think about Killian Murphy and what are his most memorable roles for you? Don't forget to rate the video and subscribe to our channel. See you soon.